back to my channel. Today's tutorial is going to be on my go-to makeup look. I have literally have been rocking this look almost every time, if not every single time I've been going out lately. I usually go a lot heavier than this on the eyes especially. I really hope you guys like this look and if you want to know how I got this look then please keep on watching. So right now I've moisturized my face so now it's time to prime it. For primer today I'm going to use Jerome Alexander Liquid Silk Under Makeup Primer. And I've used this primer before and when I'm telling you that it literally like, whoop, it literally like hydrates your face and leaves your face feeling like silk, like no joke. It literally leaves your face super smooth and I just love that finish. I'm just going to go in and press that into my skin. You can use your hands if you like, but I want to be fancy today, so I'm going to use a brush. And as you can see, my face doesn't look greasy, it doesn't look oily, it just feels super hydrated. To prep my under eye, I'm actually going to be going in with a different primer. This is the Jerome Alexander Rollerball. This actually comes with the concealer too, but I'm since I'm obviously going to be going in with foundation before concealer, I'm going to apply the under eye treatment underneath my foundation. So you just roll it underneath your eyes. When you apply it to the skin, you feel like a cool sensation. It also has a ton of vitamins and it's perfect for anti-aging. So this is definitely one of my new favorite under eye primers. For those of us with puffiness or fine lines, this is the perfect under eye primer to go either under your foundation or your concealer, depending on how you follow that routine. So now that my face is primed, it's all ready for foundation. For foundation today, I'm gonna be using the Jerome Alexander Magic Mineral Air Cushion Foundation. So it comes with this sponge, and you just go ahead and press it in, and you just blend your foundation with it. And I know some of you, which I kinda was, like I never was into cushion foundations, but one of the good things about cushion foundations is that they actually dispense the perfect amount of foundation so you don't find yourself wasting or having to pump. So this foundation, I'm actually feeling it. It's actually like setting as soon as I blend it. It's, I see it setting matte, which you guys know I'm obsessed with matte foundations. This foundation definitely is buildable. You definitely feel like a hydrating and refreshing feeling. For concealer today, I'm going to be using Jerome Alexander's Coverage Concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that underneath my eyes in a triangular shape. This concealer contains a center core of shea butter to naturally moisturize the under eye area. I'm going to take this damp sponge to blend this out and this sponge is also from Jerome Alexander. So this concealer is actually blending out pretty quickly. This concealer works on all skin tones, oily or dry, young or old. So now it's time to set my face and for that I'm going to be using Jerome Alexander's Magic Minerals Powder. It also comes with this super cute brush. So let's see how this brush works. So I'm just going to tap that in. So you guys know I love loose powder, but this powder is actually doing a pretty good job. It's giving me sort of like a blurred effect. As you can see, my brows are already filled in and I will be listing down the brow tutorial that I filmed a couple months ago for those of you who are new to my channel and would like to watch that video. For eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using this palette. This is Meet Matrimony from The Bomb Cosmetics. And by the look of this palette, you can clearly see that I've been using it quite a lot lately. It looks super dirty and like it's been through war, but this palette has literally been one of my go-to palettes. So the first color I'm going to be going into is the shade Matte Lopez and I'm just taking a large blending brush to apply that. I'm taking that on the crease and I'm going to blend it from the outer V outwards. Next I'm going to be going into the shade Matte Evans and I'm taking a smaller blending brush. So this color I'm going to focus it more just on the crease and right on the outer V I'm not going to blend it up as high as I did that first color. Taking that same blending brush, I'm going to go into the shade Matte Read. And now I'm going to be focusing this color more on the outer V. And I'm going to blend it in a little bit towards the inner corner, but not all the way. Now 
Now I'm gonna take that first blending brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and run that through the crease and the outer V just to make sure that everything is blended. To highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eyes, I'm gonna be going into the Tartis Pro Glow Palette by Tarte Cosmetics. And I'm gonna be mixing the shade Lit with the shade Fire. Now it's time to smoke out my lower lash line and I'm just gonna be going back into that shade Matte Read. For eyeliner, I'm gonna use Inglot's Gel Eyeliner in number 77. I'm just gonna go ahead and create a very simple wing liner. I'm gonna start very thin in the inner corner and wing it out towards the outer V. For mascara today, I'm gonna use Jerome Alexander Extended Lash Black Mascara. So now it's time for falsies. Of course, I'm gonna be using one of my all-time favorite lashes, which are Opulence from Lily Lashes. And I do have a coupon code for these lashes, so don't forget to check my description box for that. So that is it for the eyes. Now it's time to contour and bronze up this face a little bit. To contour my face, I'm gonna be using Jerome Alexander's Highlighting and Contour Kit. I really do love the picture in the cover because it shows where to highlight and where to contour. So for someone who's a beginner and doesn't know how to use the contour kit, you can always just follow the picture on the front of the contour kit and you'll know exactly where to place what colors. This kit comes with six shades. The top three shades are obviously for highlighting and the lower three shades are for contouring. So I'm just gonna go in with this shade right here. I'm just gonna be applying that underneath my cheekbone. This contour kit comes with various shades, which makes it easier to contour different skin tones and face shapes. And this is really easy to blend. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but it's not giving me like super harsh lines or color. So every time I get to work with different companies, I always make sure that I ask for a coupon code for those of you who watch my videos and wanna try the products that I use. And I am not gonna disappoint with this video. Um, I do have a coupon code for Jerome Alexander. It is just Melly. You're gonna get 20% off and free shipping on any orders over $30. And this is only gonna last a week from today. So next is time for bronzer and blush. For that, I'm gonna use Jerome Alexander's Magic Minerals Bronzer. This is more than just a bronzer. You also get highlighting shades, a blush, and also the bronzer shade. You can also just mix all three of these shades and avoid doing three different steps. For today, I'm just gonna go ahead and mix all the shades together. And this is gonna give me a super pretty bronzer and blush mixture. To highlight my face, I'm gonna be going back into that Tarte palette and I'm just gonna go in with the shade Lit, mix with the shade Fire. And I'm just gonna apply that to my cheekbones. To line my lips, I'm gonna use Max Whirl. I love this lip liner. For lipstick, I'm gonna be using Ella plus Mila Lips, and this is in the shade X on the beach. You can stop right here and leave it matte, but for me, I want glossy lips because it's summertime and I just feel like they hydrate your lips. I feel like glossy lips make the overall look less severe, so that's why I'm kind of obsessed with glossy lips right now. For gloss, I'm gonna be using Jerome Alexander's Lip Gloss. And this is just a clear gloss. That's all that this is. So it's not gonna change the color, but of course it's gonna be glossy now. So after a gazillion steps, we are finally done, and this is the final look. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed watching it. Also, comment below and let me know what look you guys would like to see next from me and I'll see you guys on my next video.